Welcome to ResoBiz. Have you ever had a piece of wood or something you were working on and you're thinking there's an idea there but I don't know what to do with it? There's something though. There's something interesting that could be done with it. Yeah, I just have to keep thinking on it. Welcome to the next episode of the Holy Rezo Build. Not wholly as an angelic as my wife has made it look like with the halo around my head and all that nonsense, but holy, like there's lots of holes in it. Here we go, episode number two. Hi, I'm Burl with Bro Guitars, and this is Rezo Biz, where everything is greater with a resonator. <laughs> All right, so here's the plan. <clears throat> I'm going to glue this to this piece of flame maple. And then, I think my plan is I'm not gonna tell you all my plan. <laughs> um, sorry for the noise in the background. I got stuff being uh, thickness sanded, but... Um, I'm going to glue this down and that fills in holes and then I'm going to tape off the sides and somebody I think suggested I would fill this with dyed epoxy. That was part of the plan. Um, the part I don't know about is what color would I dye it? And you say, well, you need to ask the customer. Very true, very true. I've looked on the work order and I don't see any colors on there, and I don't remember, I think we've talked about this, but I don't know what was said, so um, I do need to talk to him, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill, I'm gonna glue this down, I think that's the first step, just get it on here. That'll fill the holes in the backside, and then um, then I'll run it through the, the thickness sander, uh, well, we'll fill it, then I'll run it through the thickness sander, and level out the uh, epoxy, and I'll also take the, the this used to be a, a bench and uh, he still has the bench but it's uh, an inch thinner <laughs> than it used to be I think it was like two inches thick or something well, maybe fill it with some sort of dye then I'll thickness sand it down and then I'll glue another maple on it and then I have something else I'm gonna do after that you say why are you doing all this because it's custom it's, somebody's like well, it takes a lot of time to do this stuff it's not very productive no, what I do is not production. What I do is custom. That's what we're doing. All right, let me get this thing glued on. Oh, and if I didn't say what this is, I know it may not look like anything. What are you doing, bro? I'm, I'm, I'm filling it, yes, but for what? If I didn't say it, this is gonna be the neck. I'm making a neck. So when you, you say, well, what are you worried about poxy for? When you look at the back side of the neck, you flip the guitar around, this will be the middle section of the neck and you'll see these, these pockets, except when it gets to here, it'll be a much, much bigger. Um, when I say when I get to when I cut it, but you'll have these pockets filled with epoxy. And that will show in the neck and you'll know, oh look, it's uh, cypress, uh, pecky cypress uh, in the neck. Alright, so some of the trick that I have here is knowing where to put this thing up and down so that I know um, I want to get these holes right. I don't want to miss out and put them in the wrong spot. So I'm going to mark this again on the other side. Uh, 
but I'm going to get my centers figured out. Anyhow, that's pretty close to what I'm trying to do. And there we go. Got that in. I better get this out of here. I'm going to let that dry like that. Ooh, I think that one's getting ready to break on me. Here is the back strap I'm making for the, to go run down the center of the back. And I've got to fill in with epoxy and then I'll size it and we'll, you know, there's all sorts of stuff to do to it. But I think that's going to be cool. That's, in, that's off the end grain. So it's not this piece exactly, but it's like cutting off pieces like that. So run the saw that way. I did it on a bigger piece, but can you glue those together? And then I fill it with epoxy, sand it flush, or and then um, size it the size I want. And I'm gonna put trimming on the edges, and then it gets sanded super thin, and then we put it as the back strap. Um, and now I'm not just setting coffee on here. This board's a little warped and I'm, <laughs> I'm weighing it down. Um, but the uh, back strap will go down the center of this. It's all roughed in. I'm, so I'll be gone when it's done. But this is pretty though. It is so pretty. And I wouldn't even fuss with this silly board because it is... It is got a little, it's got a weird bend, which is, it's all going to get braced and it, it don't matter really, but, um, it's just a hassle to work with and I wouldn't even mess with it except it's so pretty. All right. Well, if you like the video, oh, hang on. There we go. If you like the video and uh, hit the like button, if you would, if you haven't subscribed, do that also. And stay tuned while I wait. Hopefully next week we will have epoxy. Made it make application of it. We're waiting on epoxy. Uh, and we'll get this thing so that it doesn't just come out. Pieces fall off. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you.